that. Thanks. Well, welcome back. I'm Elizabeth, and I'm sitting here with Mrs. Lauren Peterson, and we have a very interesting topic to talk about today, something about black rhinos. Yeah, so the Dallas Safari Club auctions off a black rhino hunting permit for $350,000. Where do we have rhinos in Dallas? Um, They're not in Dallas, but they're in uh, Africa. Oh, my God. And the funny thing about it is the rhino that they want to, that they sold the permit to be killed for, the rhino is already, like, kind of extinct, technically. So when you have a rhino that's kind of extinct and you're selling a permit to hunt it, you kind of go WTF. Like, what, what's the point? Yeah, no kidding. Who gave them the green light to even do something um, like this? The country, actually, I think it's... Namibia. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, so don't kill me. But um, <laughs> basically, uh, they sold the permit uh, to kill it in a certain part of Nam Namibia. I suck at saying this name, but y'all get it when y'all read the article. And um, I'm glad it's you having to say it and not me. Ugh. So thank you for that gift. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, basically they said the $350,000 is actually going to go to conserve the species. And I was like, that makes no sense because I'm paying you $350,000 so you can conserve the species for the right to kill one of the species. Like That's it just doesn't make really, any sense. really, really backwards. It is. But in a weird and twisted way, it kind of works because what happens is you have poachers and a lot of poachers they're part of the reason why there's so much eradication but when you have controls hunting and people are willing to pay an exorbitant fee as rich people in the dallas safari club are then uh, you're able to pay the people to preserve the lands, preserve conservation, and the poachers instead become, you know, the landowners and the keepers, and they learn to live in harmony with the animals. Do you really feel like just because somebody's going to pay a large amount of money to hunt the rhino that the poachers are going to stop poaching? Uh, yeah and no, because clearly, like, like, they've done this several times with different species, and they've actually been able to increase the number of species for different animals by transitioning the poachers money income sources from poaching to basically becoming the, the guardians and the people who take care of it. That so that works it, out good though if that's actually what happens. It is because what happens is the government has put the control into the hands of the people. Mm -hmm. So instead of having like these rich white guys all over you know in these big groups controlling the hunting the people get to control it and work it and make money from it, so there's less of a need to poach. Mm -hmm. And in addition, you have people who are willing to pay lots of money to go on an African safari and start snapping pictures. There's money from that too. So when people see that there's an alternate income source that comes from keeping the animals alive or at least protecting a number of it, it kind of works out. I just don't think that it needs a $350,000 permit to kill one specific rhino because he has old balls and <laughs> is aggressive. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of like, I kind of would like to have that uh, price old balls. On, a, on a few men in Dallas as well, possibly. So maybe we could work something out. That's a whole nother story. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining okay. us here at Our Simple Earth.